I wanted to kind of go back to our roots for a little bit and hopefully do something fun. I wanted just another exploratory, discovery-based, weird journey and safari ride, trying to see what strange, shady shenanigans and just wild, wacky hijinks are out there on the dark web. So I thought maybe a fine jumping off point for us is the Tor Scam List. And yes, this is a real, genuine thing. This is the Tor Scam List, a Tor hidden service or V3 onion URL and address that lists, catalogs, and archives all of the other scams that might be found on other Tor hidden services out there on the dark web. And this page is a little bit wild. It says, hey, dear hackers and scammers, I know that every day you send hundreds of megabytes and you try to destroy my site, but the only thing you can do is to destroy one link. I'm gonna fight with you forever and I effing hate you. DDoS can stop us for a while, but you won't stop the whole community F you. All right, there's a certain tone for this web page here. And they've got uh, quite an email address there, all righty. Look, I like this narrative here. Look, this is just a little bit odd and funny to me. Hello! Some time ago in my stupidity, I tried to make several transactions on the dark internet. And you know how many times I was deceived? Six freaking times. I think that is already too much. That's why I created this website, so that you can check out the product or service that you're about to buy is really true or just another scam. The dark web is a tool to be safe, anonymous and hidden on the web, where the government don't see everything you do. So before you order or buy, take a minute and check my list. If the Onion Cider person is listed on Scam Link's list, then that person is about to steal your money and you should think twice whether you wanna lose your money. What if, and this is just a conspiracy theory, the scam list site is also a scam? I'm kidding, I don't know, I don't, I don't. All right, so let's go see what is on our scam links list. And, uh, oh, okay, there's quite a bit here. <laughs> now, I know I don't wanna take this as some jovial kind of joke and gimmick here. It is a bit ironic to me, though, on the Tor hidden services in the dark web, there is a code of conduct, sort of ethical sportsmanship in what may very well be cybercrime and just deceit and deception and lies and scam. Scams. These are the top scams, and there's a lot here. Oh, the smartest money on the deep web, Horizon Store, PayPal World, Drugs Empire, of course, Tor got that, okay. Apple World, Cash God, and Money Tree, I like those. Scrolling down, there are a hefty amount of Bitcoin scams. There's no way this is all exhaustive, comprehensive list. There, there's a thousand percent more than that. Credit card scams. Oh, bit cards and cash cards are in here a lot. They made a name for themselves. These are all like clones and duplicates of each other. Imperial Market. <laughs> There's drug scams, like re weed me. Financial scams, look at this, buy real money. How could you maybe not have had a clue or indication that that might not be legitimate? Escrow, guns, market. Oh, the market one I think would be interesting because I do want to sort of deconflict that with other things. But this is where I wanted to have some fun here with the hacker scams. It might be just kind of fun also to just like control F for anything that has the word hack in it. Hack database to store, that one might be interesting. Bit hacker, Western Union hack, uh, okay. And then the hacker scam. So let's use this as our focus. What do you got for me, black hackers? Let me go ahead and copy this URL. Oh look, the page is loading. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, what is this? <laughs> We sell stolen Bitcoin wallets. Hire a hacker for mobile phones, email accounts, and social media. Find a hacker, acronym FA. <laughs> FA is a hacker brokerage service providing a secure and confidential environment for individuals and businesses to hire professional hackers. Let me make sure this is completely clear. This is not real. This is a scam. This is illegitimate. Look at the design of this website. Like absolutely awful, like bootstrap buttons with a bad JPEG background. And look at what the most pixelated pictures you could use here. The Kelly Linux logo, just like a grossed shield on a little mobile phone and the anonymous mask. Of course, Gmail accounts. Gmail, Edison, and Yandex are our most popular cloud-based hacking services. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I'm sure that's a uh, in high demand. You can barely read this page. It's black text on like a black and gray background. Here's how to buy Bitcoin over a little video here. Oh, this is like story block stock footage. I recognize that. Hey, I know those guys. You can't even read this. FA was established in 2015 as the ClearNet's first hacker handler service. However, we still operate our original dark web website and you can visit it here. Wait, there's more? There's like DLC? There's, a, there's extra content? To visit any dark web website, you must use a Tor browser and you should use a VPN service. I don't know, that's always like a hot, hot conversation because you just centralize your own exit node, which is not really, really good for you. Impossible to read orange on blue background. By handling every aspect of the contract, you're shielded from quality, legal, and economic mishaps that are far too common on the dark web. Yeah, except it, this is a scam too. The stock picture is so good. 
Like you Google clip art, like PowerPoint, like filler images. What's with all these pictures? This is a long web page. We, okay, we're at the end now, but that's a lot to it. What are the terms and conditions for a known hacking scam? Initial contact, please use the secure contact form. Okay. Oh, you'll get a response within a few hours. That's fast customer service. That's a that's a high CSAT score. Escrow, all on an active op. Please don't interfere or interact technically or otherwise with the target. Uh, uh, well, you know, I guess I can understand that. What am I talking about? This whole thing's fake. Oh, that other website uh, is down. That's not real. Okay, I guess that closes that out. I do want to review the price list though. How much will this run us? Prices are based in United States dollars and payable in cryptocurrency. Thanks for the Google currency converter there. 500 a week for iPhone remote viewing, Android remote viewing, SIM swap, not all countries available. iPhone remote destruction. These are like a couple hundred bucks. GPS tracking. Again, obviously none of this is real. This is a total scam. Identity trace, real identity from internet identity. You get their like IP address. Polymorphic viruses, $1,500. Crypto locker leaking ransomware, $3,000. Oh, okay, take it off the shelf. Such a joke. Have a local Bitcoin ATM. Dealing with infidelity, what does that mean? Keeping a secret, Edward Snowden. For beginners, there is the about us section. They link to NordVPN. Okay, clear net address, that's fine. Hidden wiki. Let me go look at our uh, dealing with infidelity. Psychologytoday.com? Where is this taking me and why? What? Why is this linked on this web page? <laughs> hey, you know what? Get tested. Investigate your legal rights. Reach out to others for help. Get therapy. Seek help. Oh, you know what? I follow. The logic here must be, hey, I want to cyber stalk my cheating significant other. And, uh Okay, that makes sense to me, but it's so stupid. So like unintelligible. We're moving on. Let me get back to our next hacker scam with the dark web hackers here. Welcome to the dark web hackers. Have you tried to buy hacking services on the dark web before? Not happy with the results? Only empty promises, but no one getting the job done? Hey, Hi, Billy, Billy Mays here, here with back with- Sorbies. You should try Vladimir and George, the dark web's most trusted hackers for getting things done. Unlike others, our prices are not the cheapest, but if we can't do a job, you will get a full refund. Why would you lead with unlike others, our prices are big, expensive and not affordable? Oh, here's Vladimir with his cool little hacker hoodie all in the dark there. I'm a technical expert at dark web hackers. Here you can find a list of my services. Minimum prices will be $600. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's a little bit more expensive than everything that we saw on the uh, on the other page. George, hey George, you don't look as elite as Vladimir. <laughs> Hello, my name is George. My hacking skills are not as perfect as Vladimir's, but I'm really good with social engineering. I really like messing with people. I don't care what you want to do. Uh, if there's something I can't do, then Vladimir will help and teach me for next time. Wow, he's learning. He's a budding cyber criminal product destroying someone's life. Whatever, that's really the first, that's your flagship product. That's the like MVP service. Jeez, wait a second, what the f Got a couple other things in his listing here, but that's it. That That's the end of the website. I cannot scroll any further. Oh, and I do want to take another quick look at these market scams. It looks like a lot of uh, Apple sort of, oh, fake things. Marketplace, Amazon Warriors, Clay Counts, Dark Amazon. Oh, is Dark Amazon still up? I thought that was hysterical. I always wanted to make a video about that, but uh, I don't think it was up when I tried to. Oh no, that's down too. Lame. Anyway, in case you're worried that your information might be out there, oh, on the dark web, whether it's in a marketplace or whether it's in some forum or just shared around in some Telegram group chats, you could be keeping an eye on your exposed attack surface and what information might be out there posing a risk or threat to you with Flare. Flare is the sponsor of this video, but seriously, I think their stuff is incredible. Like I can add identifiers for myself, for my name, for my business, for my company or other employees and hey, other personnel, and we could just even use it for security research. Hey, tracking down weird stuff out on the dark web. Wait a second, Breach Forums is talking about me again. Oh, they're including the video on the two-factor bypass. Well, the social engineering sort of pretense. Oh, hey, John Hammond on YouTube, very informative indeed. Thanks so much. I appreciate that, Breach Forum. But hey, whether or not the source is legitimate or illegitimate, like we're cruising through the Tor scam list, look, Flare can track it down and look through stuff even on the clear net, like open web paste, like Pastebin, or leaky S3 buckets, GitHub source code information, but the dark web is where this gets interesting. Tracking a lot of those marketplaces or forums or telegram chats and anything. 
One of the biggest things that Flare might be tracking is actually a lot of the leaked credentials or stolen passwords and information out and about. And we might be able to see that for sale on some marketplaces. Like if I simply search for, oh, passwords for sale, something simple, something easy. And I'll toggle the filter here just to change this to the illicit network. So we're basically doing a giant Google search across all the weird and wild places in the dark web and seeing what stuff pops up. Like, oh, maybe some scam courses, oh, best black hat forums to get your first to thousand subscribers and then hackers digging into Spotify and Netflix and Carter's Haven. We got the legit premier credit cards as low as $20. Oh, that one's really interesting. It's over on Telegram and it even has a picture included and Flare is really cool. It can pull out and carve out the pictures and okay, yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's credit card info just out and about. There's one just underneath it for dream chasers. Hey, the only place you'll find legit logs like stolen passwords, credentials, and information, anything for cash app, PayPal, Coinbase, Chase. Oh, it's so weird. We can dig into the content and see a lot of the chatter there. This actually just lets you scroll through the messages like you're in the Telegram channel. It's so wild. But anyway, who's to say that may or may not be a scam, like something over on sick web market. So with that in mind, hey, let's get back to checking out some of the strange scams. All right, not much more on the dark web hackers. How about our finale here with hacker group? Let me take a gander. Oh, I feel like we've seen this one before, or at least like the design and layout. It's all like repeat, just again, farmed out material for spam spun up onion links. Welcome to hacking services area. We are hacker group, a group of hackers trained to perform hacking services. Okay. Scam offering, email hacking, Facebook hacking, Twitter hacking. Hey, you got to update. Go with the times. That's X now. It's Twix. Grades change. Hey, yeah, that's how you get to the youngins. Debt clearing, IP tracking, <laughs> search engines. What does that mean? What, what are you offering? What is the product there? Do you want to change the results of a search engine? Remove an undesired result or maybe change the result position? I don't know if you can tamper. I mean, I guess... Uh, are you buying SEO, like sponsored ads on Google? Hacking course. Do you want to learn everything about hacking to be an insecurity? Ex wow, so lead, so cool. Offer you the best course on the market. I want to get that hacker course. Hey, add it to the academy, buddy. Gentle reminder, this is a scam. This is not real. This is totally fake. Uh, courses online and individuals. Spit into 25 th themes. Goodness gracious. Will I be able to hack a Facebook or email account after this? Hey, what's the incentive? Am I going to get a job placement? What about this cybercrime boot camp? Oh, ooh, the syllabus here. Look at that. VB.net. Yeah, clutch. Good stuff. I can't poke fun. You know, if it works, it works. If it even works, it's, it's all a scam. <laughs> Introduction to deface. Website hacking, SQL injection, XSS. Good thing you do get to learn HTML, though. Absolutely need that out of the hacking course. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, their About Us section is wild. Whoa, absolutely calling out the name. Hacker Group was founded in 2005 by a Colombian called Vito Carlos Gil when he decided to offer services for email hacking. Just gonna put it out there, throw them under the bus. Scammers make your presence known. Why should you hire a hacker? If you really want any hacking services, either to get a password, spy or track in a person, change your grades, or corporative website, and any other thing, you can't do it by yourself. A common mistake many people make is thinking that hacking is like a cooking recipe, which consists in following some instructions step by step. Yeah. It's just a cookbook. It's just a pampered chef hacking. The only truth is that everything is fake. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun with these. I like these. I like this style video. This is the reason, because you need to hire a hacker. Qualified person who, without any loss of time, is going to solve your problems with efficiency. But of course, all work must be paid. Yep. Give us that, uh, give us the money. All right, this is just wild. This is just silly. This is just dumb. Those are some of the Tor scam lists and hacker scams over on the dark web. Oh, wait a second. There's so much other stuff on the Tor scam list. There's Torch scams. I think that's one of the search engines, right? Wikipedia scams, like HD Wiki, Hidden Wiki, other scams. This list will grow with your help. We are dark family, so we need to help ourselves. Oh, and look, this is like community driven. You can uh, add a new scam or submit a scam. Hey, if you've been scammed, help everyone not to fool themselves in the future. Just submit an email. Um, oh, and you can report false listing. Look at this. If you're a site owner and your site's listed here, you probably deserve it, but mistakes can happen. If you're not really a scam and you're not scamming me to say that you're a scam, I can take you off my scam list that might not also be a scam. 
Now, hey, I don't mean to make light of this. I know real, genuine people have been scammed trying to find weird stuff on the dark web, and that's not a joke, but there is still just a little bit of irony to me in that whole idea and premise. So I hope you enjoyed a little safari ride digging into the biggest scams and hacking services on the dark web. Hey, if you haven't already, please do take a look at Flair. There is a link in the video description and seriously, it's one incredible thing to keep tracking your identity, your exposed attack surface and what threats are out there and where that risk might be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do all those YouTube algorithm things like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.